What's up YouTube? This your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys today. Today in this short video, I will be showing you guys a couple of cool tricks and tips that you can use inside OS X Mavericks. Now, I'm sorry for the delay. It has been a long week for me. I was moving all last week and I have just finished up this week. I haven't even had time to like work out and everything and get my workouts in, but I'm back on track now. And I'm gonna be pushing out these videos for you guys so that you guys can just stay up to date on the latest and the hottest tips that I have for you. So let's begin. The first tip I wanted to show you guys is a cool tip that you can use inside Finder. It's an undo file slash move or trash command that I want to show you. So for all of you females and guys out there that's always in Finder or maybe just on your Mac and you tend to like delete something, let me find something to delete for you. One second. Go to I Brian. Don't have anything in download. Okay, cool. Say if I wanted to delete this, I can do option command and delete. Oh man, what did I just do? I just deleted that file. I need it. But if you hit command Z, that file shall return right back where it was at. So that's the first tip. Again, that is command and Z. Whenever you delete a file and you don't want to delete it, like so, I'm going to do it again. Delete it and just hit command Z. It shall go right back where it was at. So that's the first tip. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to move on to the second tip I got for you. The second tip is a rename a file slash folder with the return key. Now, some of you experienced Mac users may already know this, but for you newbies out there, you probably don't know this. So if you wanted to just rename a file, now instead of like doing a right click and get info and then go to right here, the name extension and all of that crap, you can rename it that way, but that's the old way. We don't want to do that. It's 2014. Just click it and hit the enter key or shall I say the return key and just rename that folder. So since this say you earn your body, this has something to do with workouts. So I'm just going to say, OK, workout like so. Enter. That is the second tip. I hope you guys just enjoyed that. Let's move on to the third one. Now, this third tip I have for you, it's a get an extension preview of an image or document with the space bar. Let me show you what I mean again. A lot of you experienced Mac users already know this, but this is for the newbies. This is for the people that just got their brand new Mac Pro or their iMac or Mac Mini or, you know, MacBook Air, and they literally don't know where to start. And they're slowly, slowly progressing with the commands and everything on Mac. So again, this is the third tip I have for you. And this is the get an instant preview of an image or document with the space bar. What I mean by that, instead of doing a right click, and an open or open width, you can simply just click it and then hit your space bar. Oh, sorry. Let's try it again. Click it and hit your space bar like so, and you can get a preview of that file or that image of whatever it is before you open it. So that's cool. All right. Now moving on to number four. This is the end of the video, but I have one more thing for you. Now, last but not least, this is for everyone that loves to use iTunes when it comes to syncing files such as, you know, photos or movies or music or something like that inside your iTunes library. Let me show you what I mean. Pretty cool way. And I figured I'll just share it with you guys. Now, first thing you want to do is find your iTunes folder on your Mac. In this case, I have mine on my external hard drive. So I'm going to go to my iTunes. Now I'm going to go to, let's just say mm, iTunes media. Now I'm going to go to, let's say I can either use my movies or my music. It doesn't matter. In this case, I'm just going to use my iTunes media. I'm going to drag and drop it over in the left hand corner on my sidebar. Now, every time I take a file that I have downloaded from the Internet, I can just literally just drag and drop that file inside my finder here in my iTunes media folder that resides on the left hand side. And it's then going to go directly to that folder, such as my music, my movies or whatever else I want to have over here on the sidebar. So I just kind of figured out share that tip with you guys. And, you know, hopefully you guys should enjoy it yourself. So this is your man. Big B Production 100, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this short video, which I hope you did. Holla at you.